Good morning, guys. Um, hi, this is Tom Greenwood, and this is my um, YouTube channel, Every Man Carpentry. And I was told by a person or a couple of persons that um, while they do enjoy my uh, little, the work that I do, the carpentry explanations that I do, the little tips and tricks or projects that I'm working on or how I do stuff, that they do enjoy that. And um, I have requests for a couple of videos, so I'm processing how to do those. But anyway, what, what I was told by uh, more than one individual is what they really enjoy are kind of like these these little short five minute videos, these uh, explanation videos of my way of thinking, like my, my philosophy videos. Um, so I decided this morning, since I'm not going to work for money today, um, that I would talk a little bit about uh, some of the stuff that I think about or um, uh, why um, doing hard shit is important. Um, so I don't know about other people people how they think about life or how they feel about life whether they're regardless of their financial success or where they are in the world I think that um, as one instructor I had said life sucks for everybody um, and I don't know if that's true that life sucks for everybody but I know that that the world that no matter how capable a person is that it's hard you know what I mean even um, some of the best people people I've ever known in all walks of life said that what they are working on is hard. Um, and um, what's that got to do with the price of Chinese tea? Well, um, even though I feel reasonably successful in my life today, um, I know it's as difficult as it's ever been. It's as hard as it's ever been. Um, I feel as incapable as I've ever felt. Um, I fight constantly just to meet what I feel is a standard of um, like average or mediocre, you know what I mean? And I know that um, that may or may not be true about the quality of my work or my craftsmanship. I know that it always feels as hard as it ever has. Um, and what that reminds me two things is one, it's incredibly important to remember that resiliency is what's um, important, that I continue to show up for the jobs that I take, um, for the things that I choose to do day in and day out, week in and week out. Um, and that I just remember that it's going to be hard to do it anyway and that I will get more capable, but I'll never feel more capable. Uh, and that's okay uh, until my body just gets so old that I can't do the work. And that's fine. Um, and that it'll feel hard. And, uh, but to remember to try anyway, do my best anyway, except that sometimes conditions make it impossible for me to do my best job and that it's... Um, I just got to keep going anyway. So like stick to itiveness is really important for people uh, because our endeavors are tricky and challenging and sometimes they fail. And whether we succeed or fail, going back to doing the work, the, the carpentry, if it's a carpentry project or just life in general, is really important. Um, not just that we get things done, but for who we are as people. Um, because at the end of the day, um, who I want to be is somebody that doesn't have a whole lot of quit in them. I have quit. Everyone does. Um, but I don't want to be known for quitting. I want to be known for going for the brass ring until the very end, whether I succeed or whether I fail. And sometimes I have to push all the way through and put everything on the line to succeed. And that's what life requires. That's what a task requires. Like, And that's how I get better is getting out at the very edge of my capabilities. Uh, and going whether it feels comfortable or not. It's just going for it. Um, so that's one thing. Another thing that I have been reminded of is that my mind remembers these times where projects went really well, where everything just clicked. Like I was able to get to the store and get the materials and all the right stuff was there and I had the right count and there was nothing extra. And I was able to get in, do the job and get out and that I was right on time or I was under under my estimate on the cost for a project and it just clicked. That's not average. It's not even common. It doesn't happen. It is rare that everything clicks perfectly. I've taken to telling clients, there's stuff in here I can't see and I don't know about it and I won't know until it occurs. So this estimate is really a basement. Um, but I, rem I need to remember that there are times where things absolutely do flow. And when they do, that I should appreciate this as a gift or a present, um, as an 
as a strange event that's occurring in my life, be thankful for it and be in that moment of flow and accept that it's going to end and that when I go to the next thing or the next project or the next whatever, there's going to be time that that's going to be a fight. You know what I mean? That it's going to, that it can be a fight the entire time. And there are projects that are the fight the entire time, the whole time. Um, but what's important is also to remember like, yeah, this project is going to be a fight the entire time. We'll get through this. It's just going to suck. Um, or it's not going to feel the way I want to feel. I want to feel like just super competent. And, um, while I may be competent, I'm not always super competent. They don't always flow. But when they do, I need to sit back and be like, ah, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, the light's just right. The sun's shining. Um, all my tools are here. They're working. You know, everything's perfect. Um, and to appreciate these moments of like where the universe lines up and allows it to, to go perfectly. I cannot count on it to go perfectly, to count on it going anything but perfectly. But when it does, sit back and smile and uh, just kind of ride that wave and just take that like graceful moment and uh, just let it be what it is. So anyway, um, I hope that this video finds you in a better place than you were last time. Um, I hope that uh, all your projects go perfectly. I hope that the content that's coming out is helpful and useful to you, whether it's with your head, the inside of your head, or with your projects yourself. Remember that the, this isn't a channel that's an instructional channel on how to do carpentry. Carpentry is the um, medium by which I'm trying to express to you guys you are capable. You can do this stuff. Um, trying hard shit makes us better at doing normal shit um, and that uh, any skills obtainable by you carpentry is one of those skills um, yeah that's all I got I hope to see you guys in the future sometime have a good day goodbye